tournament bass fishing. It is the absolute highest of highs and the lowest of lows, all wrapped into one event. I think I messed up, bro. And this is an opportunity we have right now to serve our creator. Thank you, Lord. So let's get after it. Well, good morning, everybody. It is 8.19 a.m. We're leaving for the Bassmaster College Series. That was a giant pothole. Good job, Brett. Bassmaster College Series on the Red River in Natchitoches, Louisiana right now. Let's see, we got five boats going. Corey and Braden, Austin and Dylan, Caden and Kaysen, Ethan and Cross, and your boys, Brett and Kate. I mean, come on, it's the dream team. We're gonna go take on the mighty Red River. We were super excited, a little nervous. You know, Cade and I is one of our last chances to qualify for the Natty. But regardless of what happens this week, it's been an absolutely awesome year getting to fish the uh, Bassmaster events. And we just had a blast traveling with the guys and getting to go to the Natty and everything like that. So what is Ethan doing? Okay. It's been an absolutely great year. Uh, Cade and I have had an absolute blast. And as you can notice, you don't hear him because he's not with me. Kate had some preaching opportunities to do this weekend, so um, stoked for him. He's been getting a lot of opportunities to do that, uh, pursue his uh, career in that and his passion for that um, a lot this semester. So we're excited for him. He's going to be coming in on Sunday night. It is Saturday right now, so we're going to fish today and tomorrow solo, um, which will be fun. It'll be a little different. Just going to go do a lot of looking around these next couple of days. The Red River is an interesting place from what I hear. It's, I think it's gonna be a good one. We got some really solid guys. We're all pretty familiar with fishing tough fisheries, especially Braden and Corey and Caden and Case, and they tend to do especially well on these kind of new tough places. Me and Cade, we really are looking to win this one. By the time the week's over, here in six days, we might not have caught a bass all week, but we put a lot of hard work in, and uh, we're just gonna take this opportunity, one, to give glory to the Lord, um, but we gotta do it on any platform we can. So whether that's First place or last place, God's good. He got us here and has provided everything along the way. So we're very grateful for that and we're excited to go get after it this week. Why? It won't, take it won't go in all the way. Like, I don't know why it's doing that. We got upside down, we got around. But I don't know why it won't go, like it just started doing that at the James. I forgot I filled it up when we got back from the James. You want to be on YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Yeah, YouTube. We got a bass. What's up, YouTube? All right, I'm throwing her back. Bye bye. All right, I'm gonna go catch some more. All right, love you, kiddo. Keep love you too. Hard. We'll do. All right, be careful. Bye. Bye bye. Nice. I don't even know what I can do with this. Dude. 
It's like a dude, it's like a 15 incher. That's, That's pushing too. Yeah. Hey, look at this. I didn't even, I thought I got like a bunch of trout. I barely pushed them. So. Yeah. Well, like two Why does this always happen? I'm gonna lose my dang crankbait. Come on, man. I thought it was a big one. <laughs> Maybe it'll shake itself off. It's already got one hook out. Come on. Yeah. Pardon this interruption while I attempt to get my crankbait back from this nice toothy critter. back beast <laughs> now back to your originally scheduled program of me fishing that dude came up and like started swirling like a bass I thought it was a three pounder nope Oh, oh, beautiful hook set there, bud. Oh, yeah, right in the mouth. Right in the roof where you want it. Oh, he wasn't coming off there. Thanks for playing. All right. I think that might be what was biting me over there. Alright well, good morning everybody. Yeah, we're up here on pool four today. Dude, we got some allergies somehow. I like really feel fatigued. Just gotta rely on the Lord's strength. Um, it's gonna be a good day. I probably sound like a bozo right now. I need to be like, yeah, we out here, pool four. We're gonna go try to capture a bass or five today. My goal for practice is to get five bites a day. Now we'll probably be shaking a lot of fish off that I know we could go back and catch. You know, right now we're just trying a bunch of new things and seeing what's going on. Mariota to the goal line, touchdown! Got everything tied up. God is good. We're fishing. We're gonna go get after it. Dang it, son. Please let me go. Call Caden Prophet. I think I messed up, bro. I hit something. I can smell oil. I knocked the chunk of the skeg off and the prop's pretty ate up. Prop shaft's bent. I mean, it's idling. It's just shaking the whole motor. I can get back to the ramp, though. That's a good, that's, it's, it, it's, it's done, dude.
winning riprap, but it's off limits. the day. Thank you, Lord. Two pounder. Two pounder, yeah. Skinny. Like, she got across. Oh, the trolling motor is muddy. Go look at the center of their boat. Go look at the center of their boat. What's up, YouTube? It is Tuesday. Technically, day four of practice, which sounds a little wild. No, usually this would be our second day of practice, but it's our fourth day. We've been out here since Saturday. Up here in Oxbow this morning, look for. Little shad spawn stuff. Had a better day yesterday. Found some good areas, uh, as y'all saw. But I think we're gonna go hit in the dirt. But we got some confidence in. What's this, dude? If I catch another stick that feels like it, it's like a curse. Last night we went to the uh, French Market Express, and we all ate a bunch of meat pies, which were uh, incredible. I would highly recommend it. What I wouldn't do is go fishing the next day. What I would do the next day is uh, probably just sleep in, let your stomach settle, and just stay home all day because you're gonna be on and off the toilet. That's what I would do. So if you could take any fishing tip from me, if y'all learn anything from this channel, learn that. Don't go fishing after set up. What is going on? Being opportunity. Stick and a spinnerbait and crankbait came by their face and they ate it. Oh, it's not a bass. Big Alright, well, the Red River Slam is almost complete. I now need a, a spotted bass, a bluegill, and a spoonbill. And a smallie. And a smallie. Jeb would say. Yeah. Why don't you get it? Bass? No. Yeah. yeah. Spotty, Spotty boy. Spotty. All right. Spotted bass. Yay. Is it 12 inches? No. <laughs> Heck no. I doubt, I doubt. 
It loose. might be 10 inches. about not catching trash fish. <laughs> wow, good memory. You were waiting to say that one, huh? <laughs> well, I'm not stoked on it. Here, go swim. <laughs> oh. Just slap me in the neck with your spinnerbait, bozo. Oh, that's just good. Greetings, East Texas Baptist University Tiger. This is the worst day on the lake I've ever had in my life. But you know good. God. God's about the, the only thing that's good right now, it feels like. But hey, even when fishing's not constant, or decision making isn't constant, the Lord is constant. And that's a fact. And I know Brett was probably looking for some kind of joke, maybe. Possibly, but that's the truth. Word. I knew I was gonna get a bite right there. And I don't know. <laughs> that might be a keeper. In there. You don't think? We don't no, measure it though, just for for kickies. That little stick out. Should we go down this bank? Exactly. I had a bad feeling I was gonna get bit there. Dude, and it's a freaking keeper. <laughs> I want to throw this thing in the freaking woods. Don't. Just let it. That's Lord, my first freaking keeper I've caught all week. What is going That's my on. first keeper I caught all week. We have to fish this bank a little bit. We literally have to. We can't not. <laughs> I know, Brett. I don't want to. We can't not fish this bank. I, I want, know, I don't Brett. want to either. I do not want to fish this bank. We cannot skip it now. Because you wouldn't talk that freaking keeper. And it freaking bit and didn't let go. Who's a lot, bozo? Like literally, I'm I'm winding it and I feel it bite and I'm like, there's no way it's a bite. So I keep reeling. And it goes and I'm like, there's no way that's a bite. And it goes and I lean and it feels like a freaking giant is behind the stick. Wow. That's literally the first keeper I've got.
YouTube, we're on the bluegill. We have caught the we have caught bluegill now, or a species of brim, whatever the heck that was. It was cool. And now we just need to catch smallmouth. Camera. What's up? Can I sit by you? What's that? Not many bass to be had. No big bass. No, if if y'all if you get if y'all would like to make a toast to get some shit. The only people toasting the gizzard shad are down here. <laughs> Explain more. I'll okay. captain them. Because I know a lot about running a boat. Three Don't show up your own wedding, still get married. From me fishing my first solo tournament ever in the Toyota Series Championship for $250,000. It's like Jacob Wheeler. That would have been my first solo tournament. And if I would have done well enough in that, my second would have been Red Crest. Did you think we were going to have 25 pounds? No, I was in there watching y'all weighed in 25 pounds and I was like beside myself. I was like, and then 28, 29. I'm like, LSU, like, Bozos. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's the first video I clicked on. Don't expose me like this. Dude, people want to see it. I want to see this. Yeah, I don't it's remember cool. how I sounded. I might sound like a baby, but it hurt. Dude, my heart started beating. Like, he gave me a PTSD, dude. He started yelling. No! Hey, hey, you had a hook in your hand and you were moving. I, it's understandable. Oh, uh, turn it down. I'm like, no. <laughs> What's wrong? Oh. I didn't know what was going on because he just started yelling. A bait hook got right in my thumb. Like it was just a bait that was down there? It was like a jug. Was there anything on the bait? There was on the hook? Ah. Yeah, like some guts. Probably what they were using to bait it. I wanted to say cuss words. <laughs> I would Ow. Yeah, I, I would have yelled. I don't. Yeah. Spillway bass. <laughs> oh, 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 wrong number. 26! Yeah! It's gonna be a huge wall. It's gonna be a wall like no one's ever seen. <laughs> Just act natural, act natural. Okay, I'm acting natural. We're about 77. Okay, that's a good number. Yes, yes, yes it yes. is. Okay. Blessed number. 26, that's gonna be our two day total. 77, that's gonna be our two day total. <laughs> If anybody else needs one, I have, okay. We're gonna cut it. Well, hello, camera. What's up, Carl? You need to cut. What do you have to say before the camera battery dies? Guys, tomorrow's gonna be interesting. We don't really know what we're gonna catch, where we're gonna catch them. We're praying that we even catch some, but we'll see. If we're meant to catch them, we're gonna catch them. If we're not, we're not gonna catch them. We got us. Hey, Red River Brewing.